what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Lindsay, your favorite Danish Filipino girl. And for today's video, we'll be doing uh, a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look with a colorful inner corner of the eye makeup vibe. And we're also going to be answering a couple of your questions because some of you guys have been requesting a Q&A video. And I asked you guys what, what questions you want me to answer. So yeah, um, I had that up on my Instagram and you guys sent questions and we're going to be answering those questions as I am doing my makeup because I've had a long week um, and I really wanted to stress by doing my makeup and I decided for you guys to join as I do my face. So if you're interested, then keep watching. First, I will be listing down the products here below. I won't be um, mentioning them vocally i just have them here just so you guys are guided throughout the video so this is the makeup look i am trying to replicate or seek inspiration from i really like kylie's makeup looks and i really try to do them as frequent as i can because it's not just super basic neutral makeup look she also has a pop of color sometimes and i really want to have that in my makeup looks as well hopefully my audio doesn't fuck up today so this is nag nag. Look nag nag. Look at that. So the first question is, what is my fave Starbucks drink? Um, I think you guys are aware. <laughs> oh, what my fave Starbucks drink is if you follow me on Instagram. Um, I really like the green tea matcha lattes a lot because I used to be a fan of coffee wherein I had coffee almost every single day and then I got sick of it therefore I'm more into non-coffee drinks but recently I've been having a lot of late nights therefore I've been bouncing back to coffee so um, in terms of non-coffee drinks I really like the green tea latte and I sub it with soy usually if I want like a caffeinated drink I would just um, go and get the barista blend because it's really like super caffeinated but also sweet at the same time so i love that and i get that usually when i need my coffee fix i don't know really how they call it burst brew burst brand i don't know it's just that coffee next question is where do you buy your clothes um i usually buy off shopee because it's cheap there and it's hard to buy in like H&M and stuff because it's like physical. Um, aside from Shopee, I also shop a lot on... No, I shopped once on Shein and that was really fun. But I don't shop a lot, I just shop there once. Um, but most of my clothes are from Shopee, if not from Shopee. Um, I tried also this um, Instagram shop. I bought like loads of pants and it's super cheap. Lang. It's like 150 parang ganun. So was really nice so yeah that's where i usually buy my clothes i don't buy a bunch of clothes anymore because i don't know i spend most of my money on food <laughs> and uh, yeah i buy clothes like every two months or like three months but you know i've been really i've been really having this yearning of buying new clothes recently but you know i'm just trying to be smart about it and not just buy whenever i want to next question is do you have any tips for incoming college students well if you're like in senior high and you're still choosing a program to pursue i suggest for you to get something you enjoy doing something you're passionate about so you won't regret choosing a program because that's what i didn't do in high school and i regretted it a lot but you know been there done that so that's basically my tip for you make sure you're enrolling in a program you really like and uh, make sure you're really organized because college is really overwhelming and i realized that planning your akas like what do you have to do and stuff really helps a lot especially if you're like a planner like me um it's really helpful on my end and don't procrastinate as much as you can. If you can do it, just finish it immediately. Because it's really, it feels better knowing that, okay, you're done with that and you don't have to wait for the deadline. Because I don't like procrastinating, so 
that's what I deal with. Also, careful with boys because some boys out there are just not worth your time. Yeah, really be careful with that because I was kind of smart about it. But, you know, some people aren't. So make sure you're really careful when it comes to uh, flings and stuff. Because some are just like really just trash. This next question is really extremely funny for me. The question is, what is it like to be an ABG? I assume that means Asian baby girl, but I am. I don't. I don't think I look super duper Asian though. But I am Asian though, so. Ah uh, yeah, I I I'm I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing against Asian baby girls like. I really like their makeup, I really like their everything, their clothes, and their big ass lashes, and their super overlined lips, like I live for that. But I don't think I am one, but I don't know. I mean, in some sense, I look more Asian than my sister, so maybe that's something you considered. Been saying I was like an ABG. So, I understand I'm flattered, but I don't categorize myself as one. I don't think they do, but you know, it's fine. I have nothing against it. Next question is, what keeps you going? I think the fear of disappointing my parents and my whole family is what keeps me going. Um, aside from that, also a big factor what in terms of what keeps me going is uh, I, I really like expensive stuff and I'm really high maintenance in a way so I have to support my own lifestyle and earn a lot of money just so I could sustain that lifestyle that what keeps me going like I'm so tired honestly but you know you gotta keep on pushing so yeah that's what keeps me going Next question is, uh, how do you handle loads of schoolwork and creating content? I can't. I'm just kidding. Do it a lot before this term because this term is thesis and OJT term. So most of my time is not available for content unless I have stuff prepared in advance or um, I have time in the weekends mostly, but not a lot. So I try. But usually during normal, like just classes, um, I just plan a lot like, okay, at this time I'm gonna do ACADS, at this time I'm gonna do content. On this day, I'm gonna focus on this. So, it's just basically planning, which is also time consuming, but you know, if you wanna do things, you're just gonna try as much as you can to do them, as frequent as you can. ACADS are my priority though, cause I'm kinda graduating. Wait, am I considered as graduating now? No, uh, kinda, let's see. Next question is, what is your happy place? Um, I really think that my happy place is the beach. <laughs> yeah, I'm just really happy whenever I'm at the beach. Um, I also am very happy when I'm like on the sofa. I have a bowl of noodles and I'm just watching Netflix. Specifically, either Modern Family or Friends. That's, I, I'm like happy just right there. If I'm feeling indoorsy and I don't feel like going out or whatever. Yeah, that's my happy place. Question is neutral or creative looks? Honestly, um, neutral looks are way easier and uh, quicker to do. But I really, really, really like creating creative looks. I enjoy them a lot. I really like the process. I really like how it looks after. Like, I wouldn't mind going out, like, um, going to school. I used to do creative looks when going to school. I used to use a lot of color. I used to do a lot of these things um, when we still could. Yeah, I really like creative looks more, but I usually just do neutral looks recently because, you know, I don't have a lot of time. So... Yeah, but I really like creative looks. Next question is, what's your go-to outfit? 
I really like um, a black dress, like a like a body con dress, then Converse. That's like basically my go-to outfit when I can't think of anything, just a black dress and Converse. So, um, if not that, maybe it's like a tiny crop top and jeans and Converse or Yeezys. Just basically sneakers. I'm surprised with this question because uh, I don't know. <laughs> One of you guys asked if I was interested in joining Binibini Pilipinas. Um, is it Binibini Pilipinas or Miss Philippines Universe? Yeah. Um, you asked if I was interested in joining Miss Philippines Universe. Um, I used to do a little pageant thing, pageantry, um, when I was in high school, but my parents weren't like big fans of me doing it, so I didn't pursue it. Uh, and currently, I don't have any plans to do that, but if the chance was there to do it, I would um, grab that chance because it seems extremely fun. Although, I don't think my body type is perfect for that type of competition because I'm really, um, I'm not exactly the skinniest, but you know, whatever happens, happens, I guess. last question here's the final look i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up also comment down below if i should do more videos like this or what other videos you want to see and also please do subscribe to the here and click that notification bell so whenever i post a new video you will see first and follow me on social media at lens or everywhere and that's the end of my video i hope you guys stay safe take care and i'll see you guys in my next video bye